Hello, hello. Today I will show you very quickly how to set up the pop fluid solver I created. Um, it will be a short video because I don't have uh, much time. And yeah, you will have more complete tutorials very soon. So the first thing is that you have to um, put the voxel grid in it and the pop fluid solver here, like this. Um, make sure that in the voxel grid in it, you have the name of this component. You can drag and drop it here if it's not the case. And we're gonna first connect this and here add the null. And we're gonna also create a point generator and connect it in the first input of the pop fluid solver. This is the geometry that we want us to behave like a fluid. Um, what I'm going to do now is that to work, pop fluid solver need two attributes, um, forces and temp for temperatures. So here I'm going to create an attribute pop and I'm going to declare two new attributes called forces which is size 3 because we can have force on x, y, and z and also temp for temperature and I'm gonna go here and select init so when I init I can see here that the, these two attributes that we created already exist um, because they are present already in here to for safety let's say but it's just a warning, nothing bad. If we start the simulation, we see that the warning disappears. So let's say on init, we see here that the sphere we put is clamped because we have a size of one and we have a radius of one. So we're gonna go to 0.4 and here init again. So we see that the, the sphere now match in the box we created here. All the, all the um, calculation of the fluid simulation performs on this box. We can't go outside, but you can stay here in and increase the resolution to have more, um, let's say, detailed results. Let's go back for, to 32 for now. In it, you can hide this. And here I'm going to just create a box connected to a geocomp and in terms of material again I'm gonna connect a wireframe to it. Drag and drop material and here choose topology wireframe. I'm gonna zoom out here split my screen in two here select geometry viewer like this um, so this is displayed here and we're going to also display the, the result. Okay. So in the voxel grid init, I will take the size, drag and drop it on the geoscale, like this. So now if I move, if I change the size, we can see that we have a visualization, visualization sorry, of the size um, we're going to have. Every time you change all the resolution or the size, you have to re-knit again the simulation um, so yeah to refresh the system so now we have these two forces um, these two attributes sorry forces and temperature if I try now to start the simulation and add a force something happens but it's not what we want because by doing this I apply the same force which is 10 on the x-axis but on all the points of the simulation. What I do, what I want, sorry, is to have this X force that go in this direction, but only in the center of the geometry. So it's gonna create a flow. In order to do this, I will create um, a field pop. And this field pop creates an attribute called weight. We can visualize this attribute here if we press plus right click display attribute colors and select um, weight if we reduce the radius we can see that we have a sphere with a certain radius 
inside or that take completely the shape of our we cannot see it's inside we cannot see because we have a lot of um, points so we can right click display option pop overlays and here reduce like this so we can see that we have the sphere inside basically this sphere this attribute um, weight is a value on each point the value is zero outside of the sphere we created and the attribute is one inside the sphere so it's a good way for us to let's put it to point one it's a good way for us to apply the force just here and not here for now the attribute force let's say five i'm gonna do it i'm gonna init the attribute force five on x is applied on every point if I multiply this attribute by the attribute weight, which is zero on the black and one on the white, I'm going to have the attribute forces, but only in the sphere inside. Let's try. I'm going to connect a math mix. And here I'm going to multiply forces by the weight. Let's start it. Here we have five. And let's start the simulation. Nice. It's exactly what we want. What we can do is that you can do a lot of things. You can increase the radius of your... Look, let's try. Let's increase the radius. Okay, interesting. We can reduce it, but have a transition range. So it's not completely one to zero. It will be a bit, um, let's say, blurred. Let's try. Okay. And you can also move it in space, obviously. So we can also put, you will see, not only forces in the geometry itself, but if we put a force here, let's say, I'm going to try. Okay. We have the same here um, shape of axis. So I'm going to put um minus point three minus point three and point three i'm gonna put a force here that does this on the x-axis five let's try it's exactly what we want so yeah that's it i'm gonna i'm not gonna go oh maybe i will show you something just one thing it's not mandatory to play only with this I'm gonna put zero and we start the simulation. We can also create here. I'm gonna create a noise, but here, I'm not just gonna link it here. I will explain you why. So here, create a noise. And I don't connect it because in the loop, because if I do, the voxel system is completely destroyed by this default um, operation. So I can just select none and create an attribute called noise force noise force is then applied to all the all the voxels um, and can reduce the period we can observe this noise if you want you can right click here vector noise force you can see that we have our noise you can move the period Amplitude you cannot see because here it's just unit vectors. You can see only the direction. If you want to to see the the amplitude also, you can do I think it's colors, I'm not sure, or dots. Maybe colors. Yeah, this way. You can see the different colors. So we see that in green it's gonna be a vector that go in this direction. And we have an intensity also, not only the directions. You can addition the different things and yeah it's a good way to visualize how your attributes um, behave in the boss anyway it was not the point um so i created an attribute called noise force that is applied everywhere in the space i'm gonna put it here like this and then i'm gonna say that the attribute 
forces I have here, I'm going to add this one to this one. What we can do is change the order. Change the order to avoid create more nodes. So now this data, this operator here has the information noise force, noise force, and we're going to simply add it force, noise force, like this. So we can have and this force created in the field, but we add also it to noise to the noise. So we can have multiple multiple forces in the same attribute. It's the goal of this um, forces system. All the forces you want, you add them under the same name forces, and it's exactly the same with the temperature. But I will show you the temperature later because I have to explain um, the buoyancy, and it will be for a complete, more complete tutorial. For now, it's the basic setup. Um, to have a fluid solver. Let's reduce the noise. I'm going to try to <coughs> have a shape I like. Um, I'm going to increase the resolution and increase the number of points here. Maybe the shape. Um, reset it. Yeah. That's it. I'm not going to do... <laughs> More explanations. I hope you enjoy this um, quick um, setup tutorial. And yeah, see you soon for a complete tutorial, I promise, with uh, how everything works and with the particle life, etc. Custom um, behaviors, the vortex, Rankin vortex that I put in this, um, in this file also. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and you're gonna have fun with this um, pop solver. And yeah, see you soon. Ciao.